Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. A new Electro Magnet Warrior, or a Magnet Warrior, I have to say, a level 4 Delta the Magnet Warrior. It's a V-Jump promo that was um, released, um, leaked a few days ago. It's an okay card for the archetype. It's most important effect, it's its, it's uh, first effect. It's, uh, it's pretty much an Armageddon Knight for your, for your Magnet Warrior. So when it's normal or special summon, you can send any level 4 or lower Magnet Warrior from your to the grave. Its second effect isn't really too important unless you're running Valkyrian when your Delta, uh, the Magnet Warrior, is sent to the grave. Doesn't matter from where, it's just sent to the grave. You can special summon a Valkyrian from your uh, deck, for example, on your side of the field if you banish three Magnet Warriors from your grave. It's okay, but outside of uh, a dedicated infusion build, you're not really running Valkyrian. Um, Anyway, Delta is an okay card, you can run your field spell, your magnet field now has a, has a purpose, a big purpose here in the deck. But let's see a few example games. Alright, um, first of all against Subterrors, I believe this should be my updated build of Subterrors with Brilliant Fusion as well. Excellent to get an extra summon, especially for Nemesis. You know Nemesis, the, the, the big lone flyer of the deck. I get to start, it's an okay hand. Normal summon to get a search, search the, the big, what is it called, a Parisian or something like that. Um, the new Electro Magnet Valkyrian. Uh, he has an okay hand, immediately the Brilliant Fusion and uses the extra normal summon for his Nemesis. Nemesis is to set up, I believe, the level 8? I believe it's a level 7 or level 8. But um, kept a strike, strike was too important to get rid of his Terror Tray, his Ritual Monster. And I do also play Triple Brilliant Fusion. It's just a huge foolish burial to get your Sentry, your level 3 in your grave, you know the Treeborn Frog, and uh, go for Instant Fusion for Norden. I believe Instant Fusion is at 2 here in the deck of a Castell, bit of gimmicky, but uh, bouncing back his field spell also would have been uh, perfect, it doesn't really matter, since now I can just uh, attack for a game, and indeed it was his uh, level 7 one. The guy that banishes monsters from the opponent. I get to start foolish, yeah, huge foolish burial to send sentry, uh, yeah, sentry of stone from my deck to the grave and go for the first turn, Gorgonic Guardian. My opponent does set three, uh, uses Maxi, the block golem in my hand, not really too great. Block, yeah, block golem, all, it's, it's only purpose here in the deck is maybe go for a rank 8 exceed titanic galaxy is my only rank 8 exceed if you happen to have brilliant fusion for your uh, level 8 gem knight fusion as well um, he does have a solemn strike, a good play on his part for my Gorgonic Guardian, so immediately max C on uh, the effect of Armageddon Knight, uh, otherwise he would have been uh, able to uh, get some nice pluses with the malicious for Beatrice. Um, and for the Coral Dragon as well. And here his warning definitely was uh, was very, very important. Instant, both instant fusions are kind of dead. Um, kind of hurts here if you don't draw your, for example, yeah, your level 4, your Delta to go for an instant Northern. Otherwise, you're heavily relying on another level 3 target to go for fusionist, your uh, other level 3 fusion in your extra deck. And now... Yeah, banishing the sentry as well. This this is instantly uh, game over, as you will see in a few moments. Um, there is the Utopia, the Lightning, and the Dark Law. So enter Scoop Face and say a third game here. I get to start, and Celestial is in his hand already. Excellent new support for Destiny Hero. So I get to start a normal summon, the beta to get the extra summon, and immediately the field spell coming through. Very nice here that your Delta uh, with this Armageddon Knights effect, you can set any Magnet Warrior from the deck to the grave, and thanks to your field spell, you can just reborn it. So it's a nice small engine, a nice small toolbox, a toolbox going on here. You strike on this Shadow Mist to prevent a search and possibly another search during his uh, next turn. I'm not really sure if Instant Fusion was a correct play, but he does have Call of the Haunted, I believe. Okay, so now we can understand why uh, the Instant Fusion was activated earlier. But uh, this is also cool now because of that uh, level 4 Magnet Warrior. You can use your Electro Magnet Warrior's effect during your opponent's turn. Tribute it to special summon your level 4 from your deck. Send something to the grave. Excellent to like uh, tutor or at least yeah, get up your um, level 8 Electro Magnet Warrior. Your, your quote unquote Dark Arm Dragon of the deck. But uh, yeah, it's okay. Excellent support. Again, I get to start. Go for Gargonic Guardian set 2 against uh, Spirals indeed. 
But Twin Twister. Twin Twister is so, so good against this deck. Well, against a lot of decks, right? But especially because of the field spell. Field spells are so, so easy targets for something like Twin Twister. But um, yeah, again, Twin Twister on the two sets. Was it Call of the Hound and then Strike, I believe? Um, anyway, upstart into the field spell. And here, I think I ran into his Strike. Yeah, Twin Twister could have been activated, but what, should, what could I have done after that, right? I needed one extra card to discard. Uh, and then, yeah, use the field spell, and with that Electrum and Atorium inside of the field, reborn something and go for rank 3 and go from there. But his strike definitely won him the game. He goes for Catastor, which runs into a dual bottomless trapple, but the uh, instant fusion into Trishala, into his uh, premature burial, is going to seal the deal here. So I lose this one, but again, excellent draws on his part, and very unfortunate on my part that he did have his uh, strike set earlier. Last game against Subterrors again, he gets a start, gets a search, instantly setting up his field spell and the tarot tray as well. Next up with uh, the level 7, the Uma Strix, I believe the name is, you know, the, the card that when it's flipped, Phaser banishes monsters from the opponent. So normal summon the the Gamma indeed, get the extra normal summon, get a search for my level 8, and uh, he makes a good move, banishes my level 3, but eventually, after some thinking, I go for Levier, I think that was the better option. Go for Levier, special summon the Alpha again, get this, you know, yeah, it's of course once per turn. Go for Gargonic Garden, get rid of his ritual, and this, again, should be an excellent setup. Call of the Haunted, ready for next turn. Solemn Strike set to a uh, Hold off a big, uh, a big push from my opponent, and also Gargonic Garden on my side of the field. But again, Twin Twister. <laughs> it's always Twin Twister. I mean, you can just play huge uh, revolutions over. I believe the name is or Starlight Road. But no, why should you play those cards? Um, but yeah, he can follow it up with King of Elms. Excellent exceed for Subterrors to instantly search your level 7 reptile. And now it isn't really looking too great. He again has a terror tray. Yeah, the, the ritual, the terror tray, as a possibility to put one of my monsters face down during my uh, own turn. And yeah, DG, well. Blade. This is currently my deck list. Feel free again to leave suggestions, opinions uh, down below. The level 4 Delta, excellent addition to the deck. I still like the level 3 Gorgonic monster here in the deck. Boosts up those rank 3 exceed plays, but uh, um, okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.